Are you looking around on YouTube trying to learn Excel VBA? Maybe you're getting a little bit frustrated. Well, I don't think you need to go any further if you want to learn Excel VBA, because in this series, I've laid it out for you in six 10 minute videos, the 18, one, eight, the 18 things you really need to know in Excel VBA to get started. Yes, these are your Excel VBA building blocks, six 10 minute videos. I'm gonna tell you more about the course as we go, but let's get started straight away. So what you gotta to do to get started is open up an Excel file. I'm gonna be doing this in Windows, but you can do this on Mac. You might need a Google search here and there, but it's pretty similar in Mac. I'm doing it in Windows. So I've got Excel open. I want to open a new Excel file. This is our course handbook. I'm gonna tell you more about that later. Control N on the Windows PC. I've got a new Excel file. So what do we need to do first to get started with Excel VBA? We need to make sure we can see this tab here. Can you see it on your system? This is the developer tab. How do we see the developer tab? You can go to file. Then in the bottom left corner, you've got to go to options. And here we can control how Excel looks for us. Lots of other cool things we can do with Excel as well. We want to go to customize ribbon because we want to customize what we can see in the ribbon, what we can see at the top of Excel in this area here. Make sure you have the developer, the developer box clicked. So if it's unclicked now, it's not going to be visible. You want to click it and make sure the developer tab is visible there. Then we're going to hit OK, go back into Excel. Now, hopefully you can see the developer tab. If you can, just, just go ahead and click on it. And these are some of the things we need to get Excel VBA going on our system. But don't worry, you don't need all of these things. We only use a couple of these things we're going to see as we go through these series. We're going to click on Visual Basic here. This is going to take us into the Visual Basic Editor. Now, your Visual Basic, Basic Editor probably won't look like this. It looks like this because I've got multiple files open. And this is the first thing to note about the Visual Basic Editor. Look at this area here this area here, which is the Project Explorer. I can see this is the, the file I just created. I can see the name of the file here. This is another file. Now, this is the file I've used to create the course handbook for this course. So just make sure you're aware which file are you working in. I'm going to click this minus button here. Generally, I recommend only having one file open at a time when you're working with Excel VBA. So make sure you're in the file you want to be in. I've just clicked on sheet one here. Then we want to go to insert and to module. And we'll see over on the right, we've got what we'd call our coding window, our coding window. So now we're almost ready to do some Excel VBA. So over here, we've got the coding window on the right. This window, we've got the Project Explorer. And as with Windows generally, you know, we can click and hold and adjust, adjust what we want to see. What's this window down here? This is the properties window, the properties window. So Excel consists of objects, which is a sheet in a, in a file, a file itself, a chart. Anything you can see in Excel is an object, really. And objects have properties. And properties are qualities, attributes about the object that we might want to change or manipulate. For example, a sheet has a name, sheet one here. So we just want to be aware of the properties window. But the coding window is where we're going to spend most of our time. We want to do one thing, kind of a procedural thing. But later in this series, we'll understand why we do it. It's a computer programming term. We're just going to type in option explicit at the top of the coding window. And you can see uh, the text has turned blue. So we're almost ready to get started with Excel VBA. One more thing I want you to do. We've got to be able to see the coding window and see Excel at the same time. How are you gonna do this? On my setup, I've got multiple screens, that's, gr that's great. If you only got one screen, it's okay. If you're on Windows, you can hold down the Windows key, hold down the Windows key, hit the left arrow, that's gonna split up the screen really nicely and then I can make a li little adjustment in the Excel VBA editor, something like this. This is what you want because you need to be able to see Excel and the VBA editor at the same time, we're going to go ahead and create our first macro in just a second. Exciting stuff. But quickly, let me tell you a bit more about this course. I've created a course handbook for you. You know, why did I create this course? Because I'm tired of people looking around on YouTube, trying to piece things together with Excel VBA, never really getting the benefits, never really being able to achieve those 
massive time savings that we can get through VBA, particularly through Excel automation. Now, if you go to the link below this video, it will take you to our website. If you want to give me your email address, I will send this course to you. What else will I send you? I'll send you the weekly video release straight to our inbox. I'll also send you an occasional email about a course or a membership that I think you might be interested in. They are pretty awesome and unique. The courses and memberships that we offer, they're a great way for you to uh, progress your Excel learning. But um, you can get the course handbook. So I've laid it out for you. There's a little introduction here. There's all of the building blocks listed on one sheet. And then we've got for each session, we've got the learning outcomes listed. And then I'd encourage you to think about the things that you've learned, the things you found difficult. And then did you have a punch the air moment? We love punch the air moments here at Tiger when everything works, punch the air. Yes, that's what Excel VBA is all about. So you can click the link below this video. It will take you to the website. You can pop your email in. Uh, you will get access to this PDF and all of the videos in this series will be there in the near future. And, and let me underline this, some of the videos will only be on the website. The three videos right at the end, and I promise I'll move on after this, talking about the meta skills, they'll only be available on the website. So you have to head over there and sign up. Let's get back uh, into Excel. And let's create our first macros. This is our coding window. This is where code lives. And let's just bear in mind, we've got a module here. So I'm double clicking here. And let's go ahead and just name the module. So module is a place where code lives. I'm going to give this module a name. I'm going to call it building underscore blocks. Now, we do need the underscore because it has to be a single word when we're naming a module. So I'm going to hit enter now. And you can see the module has now got a name. That's pretty cool. That allows us to organize code. If we've got a big application, we want to group macros together. I always do it in my professional Excel VBA work. It's good to be able to name the module. So we've got a named module with some code in. We're going to go ahead and say show sub here, show underscore message box, and then enter. Hmm. So what just happened there? Well, you can see I've said sub. That is short for subroutine. So I'm saying to Excel, here is the beginning of a macro or a subroutine. Don't worry about all these words. They don't, they don't matter. It's a small computer program that allows us to do so much cool things in Excel. Now, show message box. This is the name I've given to the macro. Now, I can call macros. You can call macros anything. It has to be one word. I always encourage you to use an informative name an informative name for the macro. That's because when we list multiple macros, and if you go to tools and then macros, all of the macros in the file will be listed here. And I work in files with hundreds of macros in. We want to be able to understand what the macro does by simply looking at the name of the macro. So what's this macro going to do? It's going to show a message box. That's all we're going to do. We're going to flash up a message box, get you working with Excel VBA. Let's give it a go. So MSG box we have here. So now we've got to get into programmer mode. That means syntax, syntax. That means being very precise with the letters as we're typing, typing them in. They've got to be 100% precise. If we get one letter wrong, then we're going to get an error message. Not a big deal. It happens all the time in Excel. One of the meta skills, you can learn about those on the website if you sign up. One of the meta skills is debugging. So we're going to get used to debugging on this course. It's not a big deal, but let's try to type as precisely as we can. That's going to certainly smooth things out. Now, I'm going to say message box, building blocks. And did you notice I've put the speech marks in here? Again, that's a syntax thing. That's important. That's going to ensure Excel understands this text as a text string, and Excel will just flash it up in the message box. So have you managed to do this? Hope you're taking your time, pausing the video, working along with me. There's no rush, steady, systematic. That's how we get better at Excel VBA. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit play now. And I can see the message box popping up there. I'm gonna go ahead now and do some experimentation. Another meta skill with Excel VBA. Can you just play trial and error experimentation? So I've changed the text here. Still within the speech marks, hit play, building blocks, part one. Let's do one more thing. When we're flashing up this macro, it says Microsoft Excel at the top. Don't get me wrong. I love Excel. Bill Gates, you're my boy. Don't worry. But I don't want to display Microsoft Excel there. We could do something more useful for the user. And I'm just going to say, see you 
suit in there. In fact, and talking about syntax, we also need a zero in here. Don't worry about that. That controls the type of message box. We can access different types of message boxes. So this is maybe your first piece of computer programming. You're going to go ahead and play with this after the video. I'm just going to hit the play button. I'm flashing this up. Building box part one. What did you think? Hope to see you soon. Head over to the website. You can sign up there. You're going to get the PDF. You're going to get the Excel file. It's going to help you monitor your learning, get as much as you can out of this course. And there's three videos. Uh, well, soon, if you're watching this video when it's released, but there'll be three exclusive videos just on the website and not on YouTube. So big welcome to the Excel VBA Building Block Series. I'll see you in part two.